what's going on if you're new to the channel i do music content uh album reviews discussions all sorts of content uh list videos as well i dropped a video on little skies and uh when i think his next album will come out a few days ago so go check that out if you like little skies but today i'm doing um a series that i started a couple weeks ago new music friday today's num number three the, the third week i pretty much just just go through the music going out or come that came out today album singles from uh, all genres uh, all the all the music from uh, artists that I know, which is um, a good amount of uh, artists. Busy week today. Um, no huge names, but pretty busy week for albums and singles. A few deluxe albums. Um, so let's get started. Uh, first album, an album from a smaller artist that uh, I've been looking forward to for a while. Landing Cube, Sapphire. Uh, this album was pushed back many times. Surprisingly, there's not a Lil Skies feature on it. Um, that, that was a big surprise to me. But, um, yeah, 14 tracks on there. I'm looking forward to listening to it. Features from um, Kid Bloom, 24K Golden, and Ty Fontaine. Um, next album, Sean Mendez, Wonder. Um, just the one feature from Justin Bieber on there. Um, I think 14 or 15 tracks on here. Um, I'll be listening to this. Maybe I'll drop a review. Probably not. Um, Rico Nasty, Nightmare uh, Vacation. I haven't really listened to too much of Rico Nasty before. This will be the first full album. I'm listening to of her. But um, a few features on there, some pretty good ones actually. Uh, there's a, a Trippy Red feature and a couple other good ones. Uh, kind of looking forward to listening to that one. Um, country artist Ru Russell Dickerson, um, Southern Symphony, 10 tracks. And what I don't get is he dropped an album with I think 11 tracks back in 2017. It's now the end of 2020. 10 tracks, 10 more tracks with a couple that have been out. And then you got other country artists like Morgan Wallen who's dropping 30 tracks in January. 30 track album and then he also dropped an album in 2018 with 12 tracks or something or something like that on it i don't know why he doesn't release enough music russell dickerson i mean i don't really care i don't like him that much but um yeah southern symphony 10 track album that i'll definitely listen to um young baby tate uh i think she's a smaller rapper i've heard a little bit from her um after the rain seven track ep wife and lucci wish me well three um i think t 21 tracks on here Came out today. Good amount of features. A lot of features on there. Um, DJ Scheme. This album was up for pre-order. Dropped today. Called Family. A lot of features on there. Uh, I think Corday is on there. Scheme Master the, the Slump God. Uh, some smaller features as well. Skrillex had the track on there. Uh, not sure about the rest of the features. There might be a Trippy Red feature. Uh, but yeah. DJ Scheme. Uh, producer album. Uh, now Blast. Uh, B-L-X-S-T. A deluxe of his album. No Love Lost. Um, came out today. As well, uh, I haven't heard anything from him except um, a feature or two on uh, Mozzie's album that came out a couple months ago. But uh, I'll be listening to that. And then last one, a deluxe from Amine Limbo. I like the, the album Limbo that came out earlier this year. He, he added seven tracks to it, so I'll be listening to that for sure. Singles, Lil Baby dropped two. Um, I dropped a video on this predicting um, he, he'd be dropping two, and he did. Um, one called Everybody, and then one called On Me. Both have videos. Everybody seems like it's going to be the, the, the bigger track. It's at, at the top of one of the playlists on Apple Music. On me is lower on the playlist, a lot lower actually, towards the middle of it. So that seems like it's going to be the hit out of the two. That's why I don't, I don't think he, he should have dropped two because one's going to be way bigger than the other. The other's going to be forgotten. It seems like On me is going to be the forgotten one. Next one, Rich the Kid, So Heartless. Um, This one I actually listened to already pretty good I actually really like it good beat and um the flow is pretty good and he actually hit, um, has a little um melodic hook on there which is pretty good I actually like that um better than what I've listened to from the um collab tape collab tape with young boy so far I've listened to the first five tracks on there they're okay I like bankroll but then uh this one's a lot better good stuff from Rich the Kid um Ant Clemens and Justin Timberlake uh, if you don't know who Ant Clemens is he is a smaller R&B artist who had a hit earlier this year called Yellow Hearts Dropped a, dropped a track with Justin Timberlake called Better Days. 24K Golden, first track he's released since Mood. In my opinion, I think he should have already dropped his debut album. But um, a single featuring DaBaby called Coco. Um, this is a better chart. If he can't get this song to chart, then um, his album's going to flop, which would be pretty bad considering he's not. Uh, he was number one. He's number two right now. He might even go back to number one ne next week, though. Um, the Weeknd dropped, dropped a remix with Rosalia for Blinding Lights, his hit song. 
uh, Juice World and Benny Blanco dropped a song. Uh, not looking forward to listening to that. I didn't like his album. Well, his album, the album under his name. I don't like posthumous um, albums. I like Good News or not Good News. Um, Circles, but by Mac Miller. But besides that album, I'm really not a fan of posthumous uh, albums, posthumous releases. Little TJ, None of Your Love, a single. He's dropped a couple other singles. They haven't really stuck. Uh, we'll see if this one sticks. Um, I haven't heard it yet. He dropped Losses, and I think another one um, a month or so back. But um, None of Your Love by Lil TJ. I'll be giving that a listen for sure. And then Florida, Florida Georgia Line, the country duo, put their album uh, up for pre-order, dropping February 14th, two months away. I think it's February 14th, uh, but it's in February. It's called um, Life Rolls On. They dropped an EP earlier this year, about six months ago, with six tracks on there. I was not a big fan of that EP. And then the single, uh, I can't think of the name of it, but uh, those tracks are available on there now. There's 16 tracks. Those seven tracks are available, the six from the EP and then the other single. But that'll be it. Um, thank you for watching. If you like the video, drop a like, subscribe, comment. Um, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.